Hi guys, today we will look into minimum night moves problem. In an infinite chessboard with coordinates from minus infinity to infinity, you have a knight at square root zero, 0. So it is here. A knight has eight possible moves it can make as illustrated below. Each move is two squares in a cardinal direction that is up, down, left, right, then one square in an orthogonal direction that is perpendicular. Return the num minimum number of steps needed to move the knight to the square x, y. Get some x, y position and we have to tell that minimum number of steps needed to move to that place. So let's understand the question. Okay guys, let's understand the question and see what possible solution we can use for this. So this is an infinite chest board and uh, knight is on position 0, 0 and that path will be x-axis, this is minus x, that will be y, and this will be minus y. Now we will get some position x and y, and we have to tell the minimum number of moves this knight has to take to reach at that particular point. At this position, we are right it where it is right now, at zero position. So the possible moves it can take is two, one that is two and one it can go two minus one it can go minus two one minus two minus one and if we look up that it is one two this is one and two and either it can go minus one two or it can go minus one minus two or it can go one minus two these all are eight possible positions it can go now if we observe this number is two and one this box is two and one if you observe this box this is two and one and this box is minus two minus one so that box is minus two minus one and the same if you observe this one and minus two and this point is so if we observe there are only two points two and one and one and two and rest all six positions are with m minus one minus two or one two so it means if if you, if you observe here, these two positions are in one quadrant available, which is this one. And if you go with minus one, mi minus one, two, or minus two, one, minus two, one, so these are in quadrant two. Similarly, in quadrant three and four. All right, okay, this is one observation that we have actually two moves and rest are with their either one is negative and other is positive and its um, negation is also available in some other quadrant. This is the first observation we have. This is the first observation. Second, knight can move into eight possible positions. With eight possible moves, it can go to eight possible positions and uh, and when it reaches to some particle position it can again take up to eight possible moves and we have to find the minimum number of moves that knight have to take to reach the particle position it is a bfs that when we are going to find minimum hop or minimum jumps or minimum um, moves in this case between two points so we have to use BFS and BFS is also used when we have to find some relation between two nodes so in these two cases so this is a BFS point that this BFS could be optimized if we only deal these two moves because we have to only find the minimum number of hop minimum number of moves of that night to reach the particle node so whatever the minimum number of moves it will take to reach at this same will be for this and similarly whatever the number of possible moves it will take for this node the same will be for that particle node 
Let's see how we can solve this question. Welcome back. So let's see how we can implement that. First we'll get all moves uh, for the night. So we'll make a list. We say it can go to one to two. And that could be the possible move or minus one to or one minus two or it could be minus one minus two or it will be two and one let me copy that uh, or it will be minus two and one or two minus one or minus one minus two minus one all right now we will make uh, a queue which will keep all possible location all possible positions when it when the night will take any uh, like all of these uh, moves from any node so we will get uh, queue and we will keep positions in it so it will be int x and y for this it is a queue we will make it from and we will put our first position that where we are we will end queue that if we are visiting some node twice we should not do that so for this particle purpose that there should be uh, no repetition no cycle so we will make a set set of hash set it will be a key hash set all right okay so now we say let's take our var which is minimum moves it will be the result initially we'll say zero while and we are going to pick each location and from that location we'll see that if it is the right target position or no if it is not find all next possible positions by taking all these moves and then find if it is the target position or no so what we'll do we'll say that okay what are the possible in one hope in in one move how many positions we have so total number of positions total positions in single help that will be q dot length and uh, we say four so that will be total position okay we'll go through all of them we will dq all um, all those nodes which will be available in next move so we will dq we'll say wall that will be current position and it will be q dot dq we will say that current position we are if it is the current position dot one it's x coordinate it's x and and the current position two equal to y if it is then return minimum move else we say for from the current position take all moves and take all moves and find all possible positions and if we have not visited them put them in the queue and also keep track that we have visited them so we will say wall new x will be my current position dot x plus m dot x and wall new y will be current position dot two and the current move second coordinate and we say if our set uh, set doesn't contains mm, new x we will make some key like this for any position 
new y so if it is not in our set we haven't visited these coordinates then we have to put them in our visited node new x plus we are going to make the key new y and we are going to say put them in the queue and queue new x new y and once we have it we are going through all the nodes with one possible hop if we have taken all the possible uh, we have visited all the nodes which were available in one move so if we never find our target we go and increment our minimum moves so we are going for next iteration to see if we can find the result or no finally we will return min moves let's run the code and see what will happen all right so there is some problem and I put it here. Oh, sorry. I had to go from one to total hop. All right, we get the answer. Okay, to make it better, we can implement in a way. We can say wall absolute x. That will be a math dot. Because we are going to visit all the coordinates for all the positions, what if we will go and uh, only visit the one coordinate and find the minimum moves for that one coordinate and that will implement definitely for all of their others because we have symmetry we'll say abs and uh, x if it is whatever the target we have and absolute of y will be mat dot abs absolute of y and we will be looking for not x not y rather absolute x and absolute value of y absolute value of y also we will provide a cushion we will provide because for sure if we are in only one 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 quadrant so there could be a move that have move in one the first quadrant and next to move in in two in second quadrant or third quadrant or fourth quadrant so we can say that my new x could be greater than or equal to minus two and here and new y will should also be greater than or equal to minus two now if you run see what should be the result that will be the equal and uh, thank you